What's up, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more J-Drama score. Uh, and we're back with another tune from the Hana Yori Dango franchise, uh, the live-action show, though I have to say the tune I'm going to react to, um, it's from the original soundtrack, and the original soundtrack of Hana Yori Dango was used in both the anime, uh, and indeed the, the cover of the soundtrack shows the characters from the anime configuration, um, but it, the same soundtrack was also used uh, for the live-action show. Um, so I mentioned uh, I've been reacting recently to the a couple of tunes from the Hana Yori Dango final, the movie that finishes everything off. Um, but we're going to go back and listen to a tune that plays very early on, the first episode of the first uh, season, uh, shown here. Uh, but this tune also continues on, you know, through the second season as well. Um, and the tune we're going to listen to is called Flower 4, which is the long version of the term F4, which is used in relation to four students who essentially kind of run the school, which is to say this is a show about a private high school for the wealthiest and most elite families in Japan, you know, um, the sons and daughters of, um, you know, major politicians and corporate leaders and so on. Um, and because these uh, students come from such elite and influential families, the teachers can't really make them go to class or give them bad grades or anything. So essentially the students kind of run the school and do whatever they want and four of them are sort of the leaders of that. Um, they're called the F4, the Flower Four, because they're all sort of like handsome and you know very like stylish and so on. Uh, and into this matrix steps uh, Makano Sukushi, who is a young girl who got to go to the high school. I think she wins like a competition, but she comes from a blue collar family. She does not come from money. She doesn't, you know, have fancy clothes. She doesn't, you know, get like catered meals. She brings an old school sort of lunchbox. And that is initially the point of conflict between her and one of the flower four named Domio G, who over time becomes her love interest. And I mentioned in another video, um, he sort of disrespects her and like ruins her lunch because he feels like, who are you to come here? Like, you know, with your low class sort of style and whatever, and try to come to our school. But she responds by punching him in the face. And this sort of shocks him. And initially it angers him and he tries to punish her and whatever, but she keeps finding ways to avoid it. And ultimately she ends up making ties and friendships with the other three guys in the F4 and eventually Domio G comes around and realizes he actually is into her. So then the remaining two seasons in the film is like all the crazy ways that like they eventually find a way to be together and so on. Um, but yeah, so this tune is called Flower 4 and it encapsulates the sort of like when she gets to the school, the like allure, but also the mystery and the sort of like danger of the F4 because she can tell they're really influential students. She can tell that they're very wealthy and you know powerful as anyone else in the school um, and again initially they're sort of like antagonistic toward her mainly the main guy but she feels like the other three guys are supporting it although one of them from the very beginning Hanazawa Rui played by Oguri Shun um, he's sort of like ah, I'm over this and he kind of leaves and so she kind of like realizes that he might be different early on um, but yeah so this tune kind of has like a danger to it it kind of has like a mysterious like wow who are these people um, I do have to point out, the soundtrack for the first season is done by the same composer of the soundtrack for the movie, Hana Yori Dango Final, um, Hana Yori Dango, sorry, Final, uh, and that is um, Yamashita Kosuke, but I have to make a point, most of the tunes on the soundtrack are both written and arranged by um, Yamashita Kosuke by himself, uh, but uh, this track, uh, Flower 4, is arranged not only by Yamashita Kosuke, but also um, uh, Kamasaka Kyosuke. Um, so it's arranged by him and someone else, whereas most of the other tunes um, are arranged just by him, although there is one other one that is arranged um, uh, by both of them. But yeah, this is Flower 4 from the Hanayori Dango soundtrack, um, written by Yamashita um, Kosuke, and then arranged by Yamashita Kosuke and uh, Kamasaka Kyosuke.
show uh, for me it's just very nostalgic um, again you know I watch a lot of different kinds of shows and rom-coms I do watch uh, maybe less than I watch you know like detective fiction or like you know political intrigue fiction but I do watch a fair amount of rom-coms and this is just a very classic one to me part of it is I think it's just very well written and it was very popular at the time in Japan um, it was sort of a crossover hit you know people who um, watch those shows typically we're fond of it but also people again maybe like me who aren't always like going out looking for kind of like fun but increasingly um, emotional rom-coms um, I think it was very popular with like a, a general audience um, but yeah it's a it's it's very nostalgic to me is what I'm saying the soundtrack I think is good in of itself but it's hard for me to hear it without getting like major nostalgic vibes because it just reminds me of like when I first discovered Japanese television entertainment it was like wow so these shows are pretty good and oh this one's good too and so on and wow they have great music so um, yeah it'll always be nostalgic to me in addition to being good in of itself uh, but yeah let me know what you think of the tune um, shout out once again to Yamashita Kosuke and what was the other arranger uh, Kanasaka Kyosuke, like Kosuke, the Yamashita, his given name is K-O-U-S-U-K-E, whereas uh, Kamasaka-san, uh, his given name, um, I assume it's a he, is K-Y-O-S-U-K-E. So um, names sound very similar, but they're spelled a little bit differently in the sort of English or Romaji articulation. Regardless, shout out to them. Um, I should mention the show is from 2005, so this is a like 17-year-old piece. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of that. Um, definitely more music from both um, the Honey Rodingo show, seasons one and two, and the final coming. So let me know what you think. I will see you next time.